Hello everybody, Georgia Burns here. Today I'd like to show you how I made this card. To make this card you'll be needing the stamp set Amazing Life. I got this when I went to on stage in November and this is actually the first time I've used it. This idea isn't my own, I got it off Pinterest. I'm sorry but I don't know the person's name. But this is exactly how it was on Pinterest and I'm going to make another one but change the colours. So I am going to use a white card base of eight and a quarter by five and seven eighths, scored and folded in half and burnished. I always seem to forget to burnish it when I'm prepping my cards. Um, you need a piece of white card stock for the inside at five and five eighths by three and seven eighths, a piece of crumb cake at five and five eighths by three and seven eighths, a piece of white cardstock at five and three eighths by three and five eighths, a piece of, right, I'm using crumb cake and this is out of some textures. It's in the annual catalogue and you'll need a, a inch wide and five and three eighths long. This is a bit long. Um, let me get my catalogue because the name's annoying me. I never remember names of paper. No, it's not that one, I know that. Papers. Right, it is called Tranquil Textured Designer Series Paper. And it's that one there. And I'm using, well, I can't see the pattern, but I'm using one of these crumb cake ones. So. That's where that's from. You'll also need ovals. Um, I've already cut mine out due to my back. Um, but I've cut a small oval, then the layering scalloped oval, and then the next size oval up in gold foil paper, which will sit there. And then, obviously, the stamp set to write that down. So first, we're going to do our stamping. So we'll need this and this. And I don't think I did anything inside this one. Oh, I did. Where did I get that from? Oh. On the inside, I used You're Amazing. And these swirly bits which I've never got out so let's get them out right you're amazing which is that one and the swirly bits is yeah that go on there oh yeah I will put these bits to one side for now. We need that, that, and the inside to do our stamping. Right. After it's screwed my scruffy cardigan, but it's my house cardigan. And as the heating's not on, it keeps me warm. Nice cup of tea. Right, we're going to stamp life's too short to say no to cake let's move this in case I get ink on it and we stamp that down here on the left in the bottom I 
don't forget if you're using photopolymer stamps use your stamping mat I should practice what I preach really shouldn't I clean that off right yeah let's do it this way I've got my stamping mat Right, now we're going to do Happy Birthday, which isn't on there very straight. And that's just going above. Like that. Clean it off. Done that one, done that. All right, I can't do the line there until I got the paper on, but so I might as well stick that paper on. And we're going to stick it right to the edge. I don't need to come right down to the bottom. So now I've got to trim it. So trim that off, and then we can stamp. Uh, I never got my big long fancy circle out or whatever it's called. Right, if you're going to do this, because this isn't long enough for the whole card, you're going to have a join. You might as well have your join up here, which is hidden by the ovals. So, excuse my head while that's not straight. Yeah, that's it. And I'm going to use the paper as a guide. So that I can hopefully get it straight. Oh, it's not that straight, is it? And then add that there. that's not very straight I don't like that so watch this rescue what I'm going to do because I've already stuck the paper down I am going to cut it off along with the card Bin that get a new piece of card which is already cut. I'm going to stick that down there and then I'm going to stamp. But what I'm going to do is stamp before I stick. So Let's try this. It doesn't look very 
very straight. You see this? Oh, that looks better. Yes, that looks better. So we'll just glue this on. You don't need to worry about that join because the oval will hide that. So we have to restamp this. A squeaky chair again. Uh, happy birthday. Just stamp that there. That's great. And we also want to stamp the cake. worked out nice and then we want to do the inside let's move that up there and the inside was you are amazing which you all are for watching can't believe my subbies have gone up so well and these, I don't know what you call them, I call them swirly bits. I put one in this corner and one in this corner. I should have done them in. Now you wouldn't have seen them very well in crumb cake. But yeah, there it is. Clean that. Let's quickly clean these stamps. There we are. And we're we'll finished with them. I don't need that anymore. Just put the glue lid on the glue for now. Right, put that to the side as we don't need that yet. I'll bring this back in and we just need to colour in the cake and that. Right, between Christmas and New Year I got a bit busy and I made myself a box for my blends. Took me a few days 
as I had to make 72 of these tubes and then stick them all together and then make a box to stick it in it's not very it's not perfect but it does my blends which I'm quite happy with right I need daffodil delight wrong one tells you I'm not used to where the, the colors are this one yeah light Light. So what I've done, I've got a row of light, row of dark, row of light, row of dark, and obviously the same here, plus the three extra ones. I've only got five more colours to get, so I've got room for them, and then I'll have room for any other uh, colours that um, Stamping Up will bring out. Gina. My sister trying to ring me, but I'll phone her back afterwards. Take it in the kitchen, just tell her I'll ring her afterwards. So, one of my daughters. Right. So we'll colour this in. Did I get crumb kick out? I didn't, did I? My sister put me off. So, there's crumb cake. Right, for this we're going to colour in the... Uh, cake. Right. All I'm doing is just colouring it in and then colouring the word cake. And then we're going to colour in these, is this crumb cake? No, it's soft suede. All right, where's my crumb cake? This is it. All we're going to do is colour in all these little Decorations here. I bet you thought you got away with that colouring in. Not today. I'm actually filming three cards today, four cards today, and I will admit this is the only one that's got colouring in. Oh no. Right, and with the crumb cake, we just go in the little decorations on the cake. And the candle. And then 
with this on pumpkin pie I'm just going to do the flame let me get rid of that it's in the way so all we're going to do now is stick this on the yellow this is daffodil to light by the way and then stick that on the gold and then on dimensionals on there but first we'll stick this on the crumb cake And then onto the card base. Being the crumb cake, you could, I suppose, give it to a male for Christmas, uh, for birthdays. the inside in and grab some dimensionals No nails, they're all broke off. And stick that there. And there you have it. Right, I did add some gold gems, so let me just get them out. I added three just under the cake I notice this one's lost one have it. Quite a nice birthday card. Not too fancy. Could do a mail. Well this one could. I hope you like it. If you do give us a thumbs up and if you'd like to see more of my videos please subscribe and press the notification button next to it and you'll be notified of any more videos I upload on a Monday, Wednesday or Friday. All I can say is thank you for visiting. Hope to see you again soon. Bye.